Basically. Now we have the big pleasure to be next to Igor Tsukov, who represented Croatia at the 2009 Eurovision Song Contest in Moscow. Hello Igor, nice to meet you again. Hey, hello, nice to meet you too. Now what are your, your experiences from Moscow? What did you like there? What did you oh like? yeah, Moscow was a really great experience for me, for my musical career. I met such beautiful people there and uh, my contacts and my career is just heading up to, uh, from the Moscow to the, my future. So let's go first back into your past. How did you get to the Eurovision Song Contest? Well, actually, uh, I took a part of one very uh, popular TV show called the Operation Triumph, you know, you know about it. So I didn't win, but I was I became very popular in my country and several other countries. So it was like Croatia, Serbia, Montenegro, Bosnia Herzegovina, Macedonia. And so after that, uh, one famous out of Tonči Kulic invited me to be a contestant on national final, and uh, I was lucky I won, and I came to Russia. But during that show, which uh, you call Operacia Operacia Triumph, is that the way to say? Operacia Triumph, yeah, Operation Triumph, <laughs> Operacia Triumph or something like That's that. That's what it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, it was like uh, like combination of, of music show, music talent, and a combination of Big Brother. So it was really, it was really something. We were three months locked in the house, like uh, Big Brother people, and it was really one tough. Uh, experience. You worked together with uh, Jack Luxemburg and uh, also with uh, Boris Novkovich. How was that to work with him? You know, Boris Novkovich is one really beautiful guy. My friend here, Anke, who's beside me, she knows him very much and really well. And he's very popular in Croatia. And uh, so far in his career, he made uh, really big things. And I hope that in the middle of his career, he will make even bigger things. And about Jerko Simovic, he's from Serbia. Uh, I would like to, really, one day I would like him to, if it would be possible, to write some song, but I don't know what the future will bring. So uh, I sang with him some song, you know, if you don't know it, Leja Leja. He was a bit on there. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's good like something. Ti me poznaješ najbolje, ovo ne ide na bolje. I već dugo tvoj dodir sluti na kraj, da li imaš taj osjećaj? Dodi leđa, o leđa, ruka led ledena, da li znaš kako vjeđa prazna postelja? I kad misliš da spavam, ti si iskrališan, bolju samu sam sebi suvišan, a zaboli me najjače kad znam. You really feel the song when you sing it. I've got the feeling that you're really into it. Yeah, yeah, it's something. I, you know, I also, I also write my own song. So it's a very different situation. We are, we are author of the song, and we are just a vocal. But yeah, I always try to feel it with all my heart. And soul. Now, I read in your bio that you're actually also doing, uh, you, you were studying for theology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's How did you come about? And well, you know, I think, well, I like all kinds of things, you know. I never like uh, go through life with my eyes closed. So, I like everything. I like sports, I like uh, women, I like, uh, I don't know, everything. So, uh, during my early ages, I mean, I'm not so old, but uh, I spent like five years on the Theology, it was one really big experience and it really changed me through my life and I wouldn't change it for anything. But as a young guy, why did you go for these subjects? For subjects? As a young guy, why did you go for these subjects? For these subjects? Well, actually I went for those, these subjects because uh, I think they are the subjects which are mo most motivating in, in a person's life. You know, every person is uh, asking himself about his purpose of life, about uh, what is... Uh, if there's a chance of living after you die, who are you exactly, what are you supposed to do in your life, then that theology and philosophy really gives you some answers and if you are really open-minded and open-hearted, let me say. So I think that's really, really, really interesting and that I can that uh, uh, emotional uh, knowings put also in my songs. A lot of my fans in Croatia, and not just Croatia, feels that and I really appreciate it. That, that my emotionality, which I put through my knowledge of world and uh, human soul. So, so what actually made you change from, from the studies to do music? Well, actually I was doing music like uh, all my life, you know. I began to do music, I was born in 98. 
I was like 1991, at years of six and seven years, I was like uh, pronounced like the best singer of my town, uh, Split. Mm -hmm. So that was like the first steps of, of my musical steps. I went to music school, I played clarinet for, for eight years, I played piano for three years, and I was really participating in a lot of festivals. So it was like uh, uh, equivalent and, and parallel career, my, my academic and musical. Now let's go back to Moscow. You sang this beautiful song, beautiful yeah. tenor. Yeah, yeah, it's like. Hey, draga, hey, draga, suze lupa mu pretvara, šumo ne oči odmaraš, začaraš, hey, lijepa, hey, sve. Version of that. Like, uh, you don't need to sing it, but uh, it's like goes the, the same way. But uh, I really like Spanish version sometimes even 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 more than the creation because it has some something romantic in it, which really inspires me and a lot of people. So I don't know, depends on my mood, but I really like Spanish version. Yeah. Uh, were you planning to do any other versions of your song? And other versions of Sega, of Tena, I did have a chance to, to make Russian, to learn a Russian version. I didn't have a chance to make a German version, but I think I would like it if I had an opportunity, if someone would translate Tena to German, uh, no one did it so far, maybe. <laughs> some people in this room have some connections to do it, but I'm only really open to, to 